Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. Jesus, amen, heals and keeps me. And he's the one I'm waiting for. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Hallelujah. Not just, just on the first day of the week, not just on a Sunday morning, even on Monday morning. And every day, every morning throughout the whole week, my Jesus is very sweeter and sweeter. Hallelujah. I fall in love with him again and again. Hallelujah. His presence is wonderful. His joy is glorious. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you. Shall we stand to our feet and worship the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Give all the glory unto his name. Hallelujah. Let's come and lift up our voice and praise God. Amen. Praise for the sign that you have been. Hallelujah. Amen. The sign that you worship the Lord says that you, he has lifted you up from the miry clay. If you are still in the miry clay, you would not be able to praise God. And if you are praising God, amen, that means he has lifted you up from the miry clay. And he's put you up on a rock to stay. And he's put a new song in your mouth to sing. Hallelujah. How many of you have a new, mouth, new song to sing this morning? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Lord. but not now. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, the wonderful name of Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. The choir team, come forward and give me a hand as we sing the song. Oh, 
in the mighty clay, but I'm no more under the mighty clay. My Lord has set my feet on a rock to stay. Hallelujah. Glory be to God's holy name. Glory be to God's holy name. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Christian life is not a life of staying in the rock for some time and then keep going to the mighty clay and then coming out. Amen. Praise God. I've seen people saying, I'm not very much a. <coughs> Strong in the Lord, I feel very down from the in my in my in my in my salvation. Uh, so I want to be off from the presence of God, off the church for some time, and not not like that. Hey, when the person who stays on the rock, the Lord doesn't expect him to come down from the rock. Hey, the Lord, the reason why God has set you on the rock to stay is that you should abide for there. The only secret is, the only secret is, He's put a new song in your mouth to sing. You must sing the song. Every day you have to open your mouth and sing a new song. That song will keep you on the rock. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. This morning we have a reason to rejoice. Because our Lord Jesus Christ <coughs> came all the way from heaven for you and me. He took upon the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found the fashion of a man, he humbled himself to the cross, even to the death of the cross. Therefore, God has also highly exalted him and given him the name above all names. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. People say, oh, Newcastle is very far for us to come to the church. Okay? People say to us, oh, Ashton is very far for us to come to the church. God did not say that when he came all the way from heaven. Amen. Praise God. Heaven is more farther than all these places. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says in one place, when Jesus knew that John the Baptist was martyr was killed and when the disciples came and told that John the Baptist was buried Jesus left unto a far desert place and the people came by foot people came walking from all cities walking to the desert where Jesus was Amen because he had a heart of compassion the Bible says he saw the people that as if they were without a shepherd that sheep that's been scattered his heart was full with compassion for them. That heart of compassion drew much people unto him. That is why he says, with, with, a, with an everlasting love have I loved thee, and with loving kindness have I drawn thee. <coughs> Praise God. He draws you and me by his loving kindness. The compassion of Jesus Christ attracted people to him. Today, if you have the compassion of Jesus in you, doesn't matter how you, how far you are, you will still come to the presence of God to find joy and rest amen, in His presence. Amen. Glory be to God's holy name. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning hour, amen, praise God, we have a reason to rejoice. Amen, praise God. It's a sound of worship that comes from the bottom of our heart. It's the sound of many waters. How many of you could hear the sound? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God's holy name. Can you hear the sound of heaven? Like the sound of many waters. There are cries of adoration as men from every nation lift their voice to make his glory now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. One servant of God saw a vision. Amen. In that vision, people from different nations, people from Russia, saints of God from Russia, Saints of God from Pakistan, Saints of God from Af from Iran, can you believe it? From a Buddhist nation, from Islam, from a Muslim nation, from a, from a people who doesn't believe in God, from a, from a, from a communist nation. Amen. Praise God. The church, the bride of Christ is coming to meet him in the air. Hallelujah. What a glorious God we serve who can turn the heart amen, of people amen, who are away from the grace of God into his Calvary's love. Can you hear the sound of heaven?
I shall see my Redeemer. And near Kangalala, in Kangalaya, America. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. This morning, the Lord wants each and every one of you to be encouraged. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. As you see him coming. Hallelujah. Dear Sister Janet. Amen. Praise God. Forgive a word of prophecy this morning. Amen. Hold fast. Amen. Praise God. Hold fast at what you have. I am coming very soon. Amen. This is the voice of God. Amen. Speaking to the church this morning, saying the Lord is coming very soon. Hallelujah. How many of you believe the turn of the Lord is very soon? Amen. It's very, very near. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, my comrades, see the signal. Joshua Thurman. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God.
Praise God. We're going to pray for the sick people who need the healing in their body, soul, or spirit. Remember all those people whom you know personally who need the healing touch of God this morning. Let's commit them into the hands of God and pray. We are very happy to amen, hear about a sister whom we have been praying for a long time. She was being diagnosed with cancer, but January 1st, she had a report from the doctor saying, no cancer, she's completely healed. Glory to God. A good powerful testimony. I, when, when she was diagnosed with cancer, they asked me to stand and pray for that sister in Newcastle. I said, Lord, you will make arrangement that in this year, in this year, 2019, I said, in this year, she will come and say testimony in this church for the glory of God that she's been healed, I said. God worked a miracle. She came and stood in the same church and shared a testimony for the glory of God that she's been healed. Yes, God. Amen. Whatever words we speak out of faith for the glory of God, God will honor that words. Even this morning, as we remember those people who need the healing touch of God in their hands, whatever words you open your mouth and speak, the Lord will fulfill it for the glory of yours or of His name. Amen. He is a prayer hearing God. He is a prayer answering God. Hold the hands of the person next to you and pray for those people who need a healing touch of God. Whoever they are, it might be your parents, it might be your brother, it might be your sister. Amen. Whoever it is, just pray for that person who need a healing touch of God. Let's pray with Monica. Father in heaven, we come to you in Jesus' precious name. Lord, we commit all those dear ones who need a healing of touch of God, amen, in their hand, in their lives, O oh Master. Whether it's their spirit, soul, or body, whatever they're going through, wherever they are, Lord, your hand is not short shortened to heal them. Your ears are not dumb to hear their prayer, deaf to hear their prayer. Lord, you are a prayer hearing God, you are a prayer answering God. You are a God who said unto us that the righteous, that the, that the fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Tonight, this morning, we we declare and decree healing and deliverance over their lives. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the healing virtue from your name pierced hands flow into their body right now. We rebuke every sickness to leave them. We heal in the name of Jesus. We rebuke, we rebuke the name sickness. We rebuke the illness to leave right, right, right now. As your word mentions, there shall not play, there shall not be any plague. Come nigh thy dwelling, the Bible says. Let them be healing. Let there be healing in their life, Lord. We command healing and deliverance in their lives right now. In Jesus' name, wherever they are, be healed. Glory, we thank you, Father. Give the all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Today, uh, it is the 19th, isn't it? Brother? Can you tell me what is 23rd? Is? Thursday. Thursday. Uh, Thursday is going to be one year uh, our dear dad, Mr. Joseph Mulohan, uh, had gone to be with the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Uh, we remember that family, coming the whole Holohan family to the hands of God, coming Brother Colin who needs a healing, coming to all the family members. We thank God for Mr. Joseph Mulohan. Amen. Praise God. Uh, he's a very gracious man. He would not miss one Sunday service. I still remember he used to drive the car having Colin, Sister Janet, Brother Jim Robinson, all of them in the car and he will drive them to the church and he will take them back to the church, to his house, to Bishop Auckland and drop them. And that came a time when they found out that he can't see clearly while driving and he was stopped from driving. Still then, he used to come with Brother Colin. Brother Colin bought the car and he used to come in Colin's car. If Colin can't drive, I'll go and pick up. I'll go to his house by 9 o'clock to pick him up and he will be ready at nine o'clock in the morning he'll be ready waiting for me just smartly i'll go pick him from in my car and after one of the service i'll go and leave him and leave him in his house a good gracious man he used to come he tried his devil best to come to the church without fail every sunday he was the one who gave a big amount of money to buy this building the william knows what i'm talking the william knows what i'm talking i'm a gracious man who helped us to buy this place so we remember all his family members coming to the hands of God and pray. Father, we thank you for Mr. Joseph Malahan's life, Lord. We thank you for his testimony. We thank you for the gracious uh, liberality that he showed, amen, to help to buy, help us to buy this building, Father. We come in each and every one of his family members for the call in. Lord, our brother uh, Michael, Sister Jeanette, and their children, David and Isaac, 
with the monks to Andrea and the children Devon and Mary, with the John and sister Dawn and the children Ben and Joshua, and all the people in the family members, we commit them into your hands. Cover them by the blood of the Lamb. Let the grace of God be, Lord, poured out into their lives, that the eyes of understanding be opened, that they will come to know you more and more and to serve you, Father. Lord, I have no great joy than seeing my children walking in truth, your word says. So we pray that all his family members, his children and grandchildren, to walk in the truth and to be found with you when you appear in the heavens, oh Father. We thank you for his life. We thank you for what, all what he had done. We will never forget his love and affection towards us. We thank you that Lord, you would bless all his family members, oh Father. Give you all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.